welcome to today's tutorial my name is dr jude Depu, and in the previous videos uh, we've been seeing how to use uh, excel to convert these long lat uh, coordinates into uh, decimal degrees and utm and in this video i'm going to demonstrate how to still use this using software now we know that software is a powerful uh, uh program to to do some um uh, uh, gridding and uh, surface mapping is a very very powerful program and today we'll be demonstrating how to use that uh, use software in doing this particular thing so if we come to this place we have our our um, coordinates long lat in uh, in um, in this um, annotated format so uh, we need to do this conversion so what you're going to do is to let us copy this you know press shift to highlight this to press uh, and hold shift and control and down arrow key to select all and you click on ctrl c to select so what we're going to do is to come here and open up a new worksheet in software and um, paste these uh, values here so here we have this in um, this annotated format so our task right now is to convert this uh, to decimal degrees usually the flow is for you to convert this to decimal degrees first and for decimal degrees you convert to utm if you don't follow this particular sequence sometimes you may run into a lot of troubles as we are going to demonstrate in this place but first of all let us convert this uh, data into uh, the decimal degrees so what we're going to do is to come to this data even if you are in the home uh, ribbon you can come to data ribbon here and in data ribbon you click on dms to decimal degrees so once you do that it will now say okay where are your data mapped in this case our data is mapped to like column a which is the longitude and column b which is the altitude and we have these uh, different formats of course it automatically detected the format but then let us look at different formats that we have here we can have this and this is how your data is going to be like maybe you have one or five degrees point this is uh, the decimal uh, the degrees and minutes values uh, are separate fields so if you use this look at how your data may look like so these are the different formats but in this case we have this in this particular format we have the degrees the, the minutes and the seconds this format so where is our target column our target column uh the it automatically says get your target to c and d but in this case because we want to put a separation we are using d and e here so you just click on okay and that does it that converts this to this this is very simple enough and then the next thing we are going to do is to actually convert this particular uh coordinates again into utm like i said the sequence is for you to convert first to this and then to utm but then let's try and see if it is going to work if we want to convert directly from this to utm so we now uh, uh, go to data still and say uh, new projected coordinates uh, new projected coordinates so where is our source column so we have our longitude or x value in column a we have that in the column b so where do we want our target columns to be it automatically says we should go to f and g but we don't want that we want g and h but then i'm sure this is not going to work because uh, of the way it is but then before then we'll now say what is the source coordinate system so the source of this um, uh, because here it says on reference the source here is geographic and it's the datum is wgs 84 where is it wgs 84 you click on okay so now the target and uh, which uh, of the target coordinate system we will not need the projected coordinate system and we want it in the utm and wgs 84 zone 32 north remember i said zone 32 north is because it's between uh, the longitude 6 and 12 degrees our data so we choose um, wgs 84 utm zone 32 north and that's it so we click on okay voila nothing happens this is because it's not ideal for you to just convert from this annotated format to uh, the utm format so what we're going to do we're going to repeat this process using the decimal degrees and then we click on this still new projected system now our column now will be mapped to d and e which is our column for x and d e is the column for the y and our source coordinate system is still wgs 1984 now where do we want it to be we want it to be in columns g 
and H. Here we go, and the target is WGS uh, 84, UTM zone 32. And now we have it. We click, voila, we have our data converted appropriately. So this is UTM in meters, and um, this is how these conversions are done. So I hope this has helped you. Like I insist, you have different array of software that can do the same thing. It's just a matter of choice. Whichever one you choose, it's also all okay. Now we started with Excel. The idea is for you to build your foundation, build your intuition and know what is happening at the back end because all these were programmed using that particular format. And now we have it. We have our, uh, uh, our coordinates converted appropriately and then we can now still use this uh, in our GIA system. I hope this particular uh, demonstration has helped you. Uh, next, we are going to be using ArcGIS to do the same process. See you then.